గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ వ్యూయర్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు కోనసీమ షార్ట్ హ్యాండ్ క్లాసెస్ గెట్ రెడీ ఫైవ్ సెకండ్స్ ఇట్ ఈజ్ సబ్మిటెడ్ బై లెరెండ్ కౌన్సిల్ ఫర్ ది అప్లికెంట్ దట్ ది అప్లికెంట్ ఈజ్ అబ్జల్యూట్లీ ఇన్నోసెంట్ అండ్ హ్యాస్ ఫాల్స్లీ బీన్ ఇంప్లికేటెడ్ in the present case with some ulterior motive it is further submitted by learned counsel for the applicant that in the aforesaid case crime number 389 of 2020 arising out of same recovery co-accused subhash sagar has already been granted bail wide order dated 2010-2020 by additional sessions judge court number 3 Allahabad. Learned counsel for the applicant also submitted that in the aforesaid case crime number 336 of 2020 384 of 2020 and 385 of 2020 the applicant has also been granted bail by coordinate bench of this court wide orders dated 21 1 2021 28 1 2021 on the strength of a forced fact it is submitted by the learned counsel for the applicant that the case of the present applicant stands on identical footing to that of co-accused subhash sagar therefore the applicant is also entitled to be released on bail it is also pointed out that apart from present case 17 cases have been shown against the applicant which have been explained by contending that out of which in one case the applicant has been acquitted in eight cases the applicant is on bail in four cases no summon or warrant has been issued against the applicant and in three cases the applicant has moved application for taking him in custody it is also submitted that the applicant is facing detention since 35-2020. It is next contended that there is no chance of the applicant of fleeing away from the judicial process or tampering with the prosecution evidence. Learned counsel for the applicant lastly submitted that if the applicant is released on bail, he will not misuse the liberty of bail and will cooperate in the early disposal of the case. Per contra, learned additional government advocate has opposed the bail prayer of the applicant by contending that the innocence of the applicant cannot be adjudged at a pre-trial stage and therefore the applicant doesn't deserve any indulgence. In case the applicant is released on bail, he will misuse the liberty of bail land aga doesn't dispute that 
applicant and co-accused Subhash Sagar have already been granted bail as stated by learned counsel for the applicant. Considering the facts and circumstances of the case, keeping in view the nature of the offence, evidence, complicity of the accused and the submissions of the learned counsel for the applicant that co-accused Subhash Sagar, who was apprehended along with the applicant and from whose position identical recovery has been made, has already been granted bail and the same has not been disputed by learned additional government advocate. I am of the view that the applicant has made out a fit case for bail on the ground of parity. Hence the bail application he is hereby allowed. Let the applicant Rupesh Singh be released on bail in the aforesaid case crime number on furnishing a personal bond and two sureties each in the like amount to the satisfaction of the court concerned with the following conditions which are being imposed in the interest of justice. 1. The applicant shall file an undertaking to the effect that he shall not seek any adjournment on the dates fixed for evidence when the witnesses are present in court. In case of default of this condition, it shall be open for the trial court to treat it as abuse of liberty of bail and pass orders in accordance with law. 2. The applicant shall remain present before the trial court on each date fixed either personally or through his counsel. In case of his absence without sufficient cause the trial court may proceed against him under Section 229A of the Indian Penal Code. 3. In case the applicant misuses the liberty of bail during trial and in order to secure his presence proclamation, under Section 82 CRPC is issued and the applicant fails to appear before the court on the date fixed in such proclamation, then the trial court shall initiate proceedings against him in accordance with law under Section 174A of the Indian Penal Code. 4. The applicant shall remain present in person before the trial court on the dates fixed for A. Opening of the case B. Framing of charge and C. Recording of a statement under Section 313 CRPC. 5. The applicant shall file computer-generated copy of this order downloaded from the official website of High Court Allahabad. 6. The computer-generated copy of this order shall be self-attested 
by the council of the party concerned seven the concerned court bar authority bar official shall verify the authenticity of such computerized copy of the order from the official website of high court allahabad and shall make a declaration of such verification in writing it is clarified that anything said in this order is limited to the purpose of determination of this bail application and will in no way be construed as an expression on the merits of the case the trial court shall be absolutely free to arrive at its independent conclusions on the basis of evidence led unaffected by anything said in this order